So, if you are a chosen one, one of these following things can happen. You may be fired from work. You could be suspended. You could experience hatred. There may be cases where you are barely receiving any salary. Even if you're receiving a salary, you might get it very late, later than the others. Even if you're a person that is looking for work, <coughs> you will move around town, you know, you throw your CVs here, you throw one CV over there, your resumes, You can throw a hundred CVs, nobody will call you. Nobody will call you. You, you, will not, you will not be offered the job. Nobody will call you. Only for you to turn around and you find that they have actually employed somebody in that position that is not even qualified. You have all the qualifications. You may be that chosen one who has done your school, you, you performed well in university, you got these uh, first grades, you know, the first grades in uh, in your studies, degrees, whatever. And you've turned around and you found they have employed someone who is not even qualified for that position. Even if you have the job, you realize at some point that job is suffocating you. Have you ever woken up one morning Guys, have you ever woken up one morning and you're going to work and you feel, you're feeling like you're being forced to go to work and you feel like you don't have an option because you have to pay some bills, you know, you have your rent, house rent, you must buy your food, you need your gas in the car, you need your insurance and everything and it feels like you're just surviving. You can hardly wake up to go to work. Chosen people, this is going to be a common scenario wherever you go. Now you see a high vibration of being is always going to find a lot of challenges wherever they go. And sometimes it may come to that whereby you're going to be pushed very hard in the corner and you're going to decide to quit. You know, either you will quit or they are going to suspend you or fire you from work. And you're going to be pushed in the corner whereby you're going to be forced to go within yourself and uh, create your own, your own stuff, create your own job, create your own, um, make your own creation. Do your own creation. Chosen people, even if you're lucky to get the job, they could have, of course, maybe a couple of times you've, you've been uh, rejected for the job offers. And even then, sometimes maybe you've been lucky, you got the job, and you've been working very, very hard. You have given it everything. You have given it your all, all your energy. Because you see, in these kind of workplaces, a high, vibration, a high vibration of being is always there with good intentions, okay? They are not there to do any shady stuff or whatever like that, you know, kind of things like that. You're there to do your job. You put in the effort. Sometimes even you'll be recognized. In the early days, we're talking about the early, you know, the early weeks, maybe the early months. People, they will, they will notice that you're doing your job perfectly well. And you're not doing it to impress anyone. You're just doing it because it is who you are, okay? So the things that you do, you do them out of your soul. You're not like... Uh, you don't even need any supervision. You can be put on a position. You will do that job very perfect. Your bosses will be very impressed. Maybe sometimes you've overdone it, you know? There's even sometimes cases where you might enter a job place and you recognize that, uh, you realize that... Um, 
these corporations, the moment you stepped in, they experience a lot of growth. All of a sudden, the sales have doubled. They're very happy with the money and everything. And people will barely recognize the reason as to why those sales are booming all of a sudden. Now, when a chosen one steps in a place with that kind of energy, you're going to be admired and adored in the first weeks, maybe the first months. You could even sometimes be there for a year or two, although it's some, it may sometimes get to that extent whereby it is becoming very, very difficult to, um, to manage that job or even sometimes to stay in that job. This is where the problem starts because there is people that you're working with, chosen ones, in those corporations and factories and companies. And those people, those individuals are not like you, okay? You may be working with a lot of uh, haters, very low vibrational people, people who only uh, understand the language of uh, jealousy and hatred or this kind of stuff, very toxic individuals. A lot of you guys chosen ones, you know that in workplaces, you have always met a lot of very toxic individuals and they have made your work very difficult. So these people, the first thing what they do when you enter those workplaces, those workplaces and jobs, they're going to put up a smile, you know, everybody likes you, oh, you're welcome, you know, nice to see you and everything, oh, you know, that will, that will be your job place. It could be sometimes your workmates, maybe sometimes you see your supervisor, it could be sometimes your manager the CEOs or whatever, oh, you're welcome, you know, we're happy to have you here and everything, they show you your place, you know, you sign all these contracts and everything, then you start working, of course, you give it your all, the, uh, the sales, you know, they'll be boosting sales, the company will grow in those moments that you're there. It will be only a matter of time until the people that you work with in that place, they're going to recognize and feel like you're out competing them because you see there is people that you found in that job they have been in that place for so many years you may sometimes find people who have been working there for 15 maybe sometimes 20 years and you're just saying an individual who has just stepped in that environment just for a week or two and they're recognizing that it feels like you're outshining them and now they don't know what to do with you even if in the beginning they accepted you and you know they was happy with you to have you around and everything because of course you know they thought that, oh, this, this one is going to sometimes do for us the double work, you know what I mean? There could have been some guys who have been, who have been overworked over the years, over the months, and you came in. They were like, oh, fortunately, this guy came in. They're going to help us to do the double work, okay? So sometimes you may have experienced cases whereby they're asking you to do the overtime, you know, while they're out there drinking in the pubs, many of them want to go out. You have sacrificed yourself and your energy and your time to go there and do the overtime. People, they are going to reach an extent where they are going to feel you're a threat. It is even going to be very difficult when you're rising very high in ranks, you know. So you may have started very low in the company. And in a few months, even sometime one or two, three, you have already gone to the next level. So people start to feel like you are rising very fast through the ranks, okay? It can be in any corporation, any organization. It can be in the military, it can be in the government, it can be in an office, it can be in a corporation, it can be in a, in a factory. You're rising very fast in your ranks. This is where people start to feel like you're outshining them, okay? If it is in that place whereby you have some people above you, you know, managers and supervisors and things like that, and they are seeing the way you're moving, you're moving at a very fast rate, and you're getting a lot of credit from the bosses. So those people start to feel like it is going to come to that extent whereby they may even sometimes lose their work. So that is how threatening it is to be around you. So what these people do now, they're going to start making up stories. Okay. For me, for me, in my case back in the days, I used to be a supervisor. So there was a manager ahead of me, uh, you know, so there was a manager and then there was a supervisor. I was the supervisor in that time. But because I was too good with my job in that time, so the manager started to feel this kind of, uh, uh, like, like threatened. Maybe they was thinking, oh, maybe this person, you know, they might be promoted to a manager. And maybe the manager was thinking that they could lose their job. 
So the manager started to plot these little schemes behind the scenes. And I hardly realized that I actually, I hardly realized that I was a threat in that time. And then in a couple of months down the road, I think I stayed in that company for, for about a year. It was about a year approximately because I was fired at the end of the year. And eventually I was called to the office and I was dismissed. So for a lot of chosen ones, people are going to hate you, okay? You're in these jobs, you're working with a lot of these toxic people, they feel that you're a threat, they feel that you're a problem because you're around there, nobody can no longer recognize what they're doing. All the credits are going to you, sometimes they're noticing your salary increase, they're noticing your promotions, they're noticing the way you shine in the place, they're noticing the way people ask about you, you know, whatever you're not around, maybe sometimes your day off. Everybody's coming in the work and, oh, where is so, where is so and so, why didn't they come today, or what is going on, or oh, when are they coming back? So sometimes people feel threatened because they feel like all the attention has been drawn towards you. And you see, sometimes when you work with these kind of narcissistic people, they want all the attention and validation for themselves. So when you are in a place, you cannot help yourself but shine. And sometimes your shine is going to outshine the people that you meet in those areas. So that is why you see a lot of these haters are going to start coming. You know, they plot against you. They will tell some things to your boss. Somebody stole this or this guy, we saw them doing that or we saw them sneaking into your office. We saw them hitting on that girl or we saw them hitting on that guy. You're going to see now all these accusations coming against you. But you know that you, have done, you, you haven't done anything wrong. Even if you could have done something, it could have been maybe sometime accidental because you didn't know in that time what are the, what were the rules or what you need to do or what were you, what your limits were or what you were supposed to do everything that you do ladies and gentlemen you are going to have your eyes on you 24/7 so usually chosen ones you are going to be summoned in your office in the office the manager's office you know they will be asking you questions that you don't even know you know nothing about who put this item over there who left the gas on, who left the electric on, who did this and who did that. They're asking you things that you don't even know. As you maneuver, uh, as you maneuver through life, chosen ones, you're always going to realize that every job that you have done has been a disaster. Every job that you have done in your entire life, it has always turned out to be a disaster. It has always been a mess. And sometimes you're thinking that it was about you, you know. You're thinking that, oh, I did everything that I could. I was working well. I was putting in so much energy. I was doing the overtime. I was treating everybody very nice. I was very kind to everybody. Sometimes you would help even some, some of these individuals do their work, you know. But the problem is not what you did, okay? It's not the problem what you have done for the company. It's not the problem what you have done for the workmates. It's not the problem what you have. It's not any problem what you have done or whatever for the manager. The problem is your light shines so bright. You can best believe that in a lot of these job places, you will find a lot of sneaky people all, all the time, all over the place. You will find a lot of these sneaky people. They want to do something. They want to dodge their assignments. They want to send the assignments to your desk so that you can do the assignments for them. They, all, they always want to do very shady stuff behind the scenes. And sometimes they don't want the leaders to all the bosses to know. So when you are in that place whereby you're shining too, bad, too bright and too hard for them, it is going to be very difficult for them to accept you. Even if they have accepted you in the beginning, as the time goes on, they are going to start resenting you. So now they start to do these schemes and plots against you that you don't, that you don't even know nothing about. So that is why you find a lot of chosen people a lot of hard about, including myself. They tend to lose their jobs, you know. On a closer look, why were you fired? Why were you suspended? You cannot find even an, an appropriate uh, reason as to why you was fired or as to why you were sacked from your job. You don't even know what happened. But in either way, you want to look at it, it is going to be very difficult for a chosen person to work an ordinary job. So when I'm talking about an ordinary job, I'm talking about these regular jobs. You know, like everybody else, you wake up, you know, you shower, you do your things and everything, eat some breakfast, go to work, spend the hours there, come back. So that routine you know, the nine to fives and everything. It's always going to be very difficult for a chosen one to fit in. 
in a job place. So for a chosen one, fitting in is also applied to so many areas of your life, okay? In this area, I've only concentrated on the job. But for you, fitting in can be trying to fit in in your family. You can be trying to fit in in your church. You can be trying to fit in the, in the government institutions, in your communities. It does not matter where you go, chosen ones, there's always going to be a problem to fit in. And sometimes you might think like it is something wrong with you. You know, there is things that you have done wrong. You're sometimes gaslighting yourself. You may sometimes blame yourself for things you haven't done. You may think that you're the problem. But let me tell you something. What is the problem, cho chosen ones? The problem is not how much effort you put into those work jobs and workplaces. The problem is your energy. Okay? High vibrational beings have got this energy around them that they just walk into places and things start happening, okay? There will be usually good things happening because usually chosen ones comes in with very, very nice positive energy wherever they go. But there can also be so many cases whereby the energy is going to shift because as much as you have got a beautiful energy and very good, beautiful intentions in every, in every setting that you go, you also have got to know that there is other people around you, move around you sometimes, work with you, that do not understand this. They do not even understand the way they feel about you, okay? Some people may think that they really like you, only for you to discover later on that actually they never liked you in the first place. You may be surprised that you've been sucked from a job sometimes, for example, and you only find out that it was the guy sitting on your desk that actually spread the rumors about you, mostly false rumors and actually been sucked from work, out of the blue, for no apparent reason, okay? So these kind of things continue to happen to chosen people. But you have to know that it's not about you. It's not your fault. It is not what you do. It is not how hard you work. It is not how beautiful you are. It is about your energy. Okay, your energy is different wherever you go. Your energy is different in every setting that you go. This energy shifts with time, okay? And many people realize and recognize this energy. So because there is the way that you carry yourself or the way that you do your job or the way that you do your assignments and, you know, um, that disturbs a lot of these individuals around you because they are not used to that kind of energy. They have been used to whatever they have been doing over the years until you stepped in. That is when everything shifted. You will be sucked, chosen ones. That's what you have to know, okay? You will be sucked. You will be fired. There will be accusations against you. There will be false rumors against you. Everybody else, everybody else who's, will, be, will turn against you. I remember the last job I did. Everything was going well. People were okay. You know, we had a nice, you know, kind of little relationship with the manager. We could uh, chat a little bit, hello, this and that. You know, everybody was right. Until a couple of months later, I realized that actually there was people around me that never even liked me from the first place. I didn't, I didn't even know this, okay? So for me, that's the reason why I decided to unplug from this whole system. Well, the universe unplugged me because I was sucked from the job. But at the end of the day, I was feeling like, okay, even if I decide to go and do another job, a new one, another one, the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one, it is simply going to be a similar situation in a different setting. So I was like, okay, so why don't I just cut this whole thing out and just decide to do my own, you know, make, own, make, my, own, make my own route and make my own design, Okay. So that's how I ended this thing because it had been happening so many times. I've told you guys sometime in my videos, there's so many times I've been fired over the years. I couldn't even understand why. Okay. But when I awakened later on, I realized the reason as to why I always had these kind of challenges in all the job settings that I've done. So chosen ones, don't be surprised about that. It's your energy. Okay. You outshine people. You get out of favor from your bosses. You're getting promotions and whatever, salary increase and all stuff like that. And there's people around you that do not like that. Most of the times you're even working around narcissistic people. And we guys already know how the narcissists feel and behave whatever they are. Okay, so it's not your fault. If this thing keeps on happening again and again, the universe is speaking to you to stop. Okay, stop running after things that don't serve you. And start creating and building something that works for you. Okay, so let me know what think about this video. If this kind of things have happened to you along the journey, drop us a like share the video and subscribe and give us a comment in the section below book a session if you want to all the links you need you will find them in the description below and until then i will catch you guys in my next one there's almost signing out much love and blessings peace